Hello, everyone, and welcome something. Welcome to something a little special. And the orange panda. <laughs> My sister is back. Um, so was it like last year, the the anime age video? Yeah. So last year we did a video where Aaron showed me a bunch of uh, a bunch of um yeah a bunch of anime characters with ambiguous ages. Let's just say, and I had to guess how old they were, and it was a lot of fun. Um, I didn't share it in many communities, but like people seemed to enjoy it, and. Uh, Aaron has been getting really into JoJo's Bizarre Adventure recently. Yeah, last year, um, with that video, I put Jotaro on the slideshow, but at that point I actually haven't didn't start watching JoJo's Bizarre Adventure yet, and I think I even said that in the video. Um, since then, I've watched through the entire series twice, I'm currently buying the manga, I bought the $60 video game, and I'm on a downward spiral that I, will never end. I watched you play that, and it's the most ridiculous thing I've seen in a while, and I'm a Kingdom Hearts fan, so I'm pretty used to, like, flippy anime action games um and then as i as i was watching her play this game she like brought up these weird trivias in, about the characters and some of them are too stupid to be believable yeah i was playing <laughs> as iggy and i said hey adam can you guess what iggy's favorite food is his and favorite like coffee or something his favorite food is coffee bubble gum <laughs> and he's a dog which makes it even weirder than it would be if he was a human <laughs> and I, I just jokingly said you know you could probably make a two truths and a lie game out of characters like this and then she did this she so that's what did i did <laughs> two truths and a lie jojo jojo Jojo's Bizarre Adventure Edition. Why is that guy's tongue out? Can you taste a liar, Adam? I do know <laughs> about the lie. I did see the Game Theory episode That's on that. That's the main question I do have. You can... Yes. There actually is some science behind that. <laughs> yes, yeah, so what I did is I compiled four characters from all the parts that are currently animated, so parts one through five. So, sorry. About, so 20 in all. 20 in all, wow, sorry. Wow, no longer this took you a while to do. Yes, yeah, like, sorry fans of of parts six, um, seven, and eight. I'm not animated yet, and I don't know, I put up those weird rules because they didn't want me to take this forever to make. Right. And I chose four characters because Mr. deserves to suffer. He's not on here, but he deserves to suffer. <laughs> Mr. <laughs> not for any reason, just because I want him I to. Love, I love the name Mr. <laughs> Is, the, is it actually said like that? Uh, yeah, I think it's said like that, Mista. Okay. So um, what I did is, again, I took four characters from each part of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. They're all divided up depending on which parts they're in. And I put down three sentences about them. They're short sentences or long sentences, it depends. And one of them is outright not true about the character. So the fact could be like their like hobbies, ages, what they're not ages, hobbies, what they're doing, even their stand powers. Or just powers in general, because parts one and two are I here. I think I understand on a basic level what a stand is. It's basically like the it's basically like Ansem's guardian from Kingdom Hearts. It's the psychic. Just like a shadow dude that spawns behind you and like does stuff. It's the, I believe it's described as the psychic embodiment of their fighting spirit. <laughs> that sounds like what Ansem can do. So, we're not start we're All not right. we're not part skippers here. So go down, okay. and we're gonna start at part one. Dio ruins everything. <laughs> You didn't have to put so much effort into this slideshow. I, I was gonna edit around a lot anyway. <laughs> well, I did. Okay. And uh, so let's get to the let's get to the okay. boy. And I'm gonna this say this is the main character. This right? is the main boy. And I'm gonna look how small his head is. <laughs> and I'm gonna say you can ask me to elaborate on any of the points that I present to you. He's the ultimate nice guy. Yeah, he is the so Jonathan Joestar, our first boy. He is the ultimate gentleman. He can tell the future by using grass, and he is an archaeologist. Which one of these is true? They all sound ridiculous enough to be true for this series. So uh, I can elaborate on any of them, or you can just go for it, because one of these is false. I'm gonna say... Ah, oh, man. The second one is too specific. I'm gonna say, um... Ultimate Gentleman, because that just sounds weird. Nope. Um, no? Jonathan is the ultimate gentleman. What He's, does that mean? He is the politest man who's ever existed. He is so very, very polite. Has has, <laughs> it, has any of his words been put on r slash nice guys? God, I hope not. He's too good for that. <laughs> but I'm going to say the false one here is... <laughs> so he's more like a Ganta gentleman. Yeah. So I'm going to say the false one here is he can't see the future by using grass. He can't see it. That's not one of his powers. Oh, okay. All right, so let's move Is on. that another character's powers? Actually, I don't think it is. Some characters can use weird things, okay. sort of. Right. Speed wagon. Um, everyone's uh, best best boy, are you a speed wagon? He's, Everyone. This ev looks like my kind of characters. He is the greatest. Um, so he can see ghosts. He hates rich. He hates rich people, but eventually becomes one. Oh, like all celebrities. Yeah, like, and he has a razor hat. Razor hat, like like. Who's that? Um, who's that dwarf from from uh, 007? A small shop? No. Short stop. Short stop. I don't remember his name. Oh boy. Yeah, which one of these? 
and I kind of he does have a razor hat. The um his brim just the the fabric goes away and it becomes razors. It's... I'm gonna say I'm gonna say he can't see ghosts. That is correct. That okay, is the one. he can't see ghosts. It's like he starts with the series like hating rich people. Like he says like Jonathan is the only good rich person out there. Mm -hmm. But then eventually uh, I hate rich people, but you're okay. Because he's an ultimate gentleman. Because <laughs> he's like right. Jonathan, you didn't kill my friends when you kicked me in the ribs. <laughs> You're the ultimate gentleman. <laughs> I'm keeping the water on the floor. Oh, do you want? Okay. Yeah, I, I don't like it. I, I, right, I, I go got on. A, this is like a wet spot on the desk. All right, that with mine. Go on to the Let's next one. On. Wait. Oh no. Will. All right, so <laughs> Just this is Will. Will's a pelly. Punch a frog. <laughs> All right, so <coughs> has he punched a frog? Has he dislocated a sh shoulder? Or he dislocates his shoulder when he punches, and he really likes bees. So this is a character based off punching. <laughs> I don't Does know. he like the Minecraft bees? I don't know if he likes the Minecraft bees. Okay, You're guys, I, I, this is probably going to go up like a few months in advance because I'm working on my Y2K video as of the time we're recording this. But as of the time we're recording this, the Minecraft bees were announced yesterday, and they're kind of amazing. <laughs> so, uh, what do you think our boy Will? <laughs> I'm guessing which one is not true. Yeah, which one is not true? Uh, I'm gonna say... No, no. <laughs> I'm gonna say the... the frog one. And what's your reasoning behind that? Uh... I know that there are characters in this game that do have, like, that are, like, handicapped. Like, they're, like, missing a limb and stuff. Maybe he's one of them with the dislocating of the shoulder. And you just think he likes bees? Yeah. Um, I, you, you're wrong. He he isn't confirmed to like bees, and he did punch a frog, to prove a point. <laughs> what point was that? That you can punch through the frog instead of punch a rock. Okay. You can, you can punch the frog beneath the rock to show Haman. Okay. Uh, and our next one seems like it's going down weirdly. The, oh my god, this uh, meme. The man, the myth, the legend. The legend. Isn't this like the villain in all of the seasons? Uh, pretty much all of them. Oh, I didn't finish that first one, but the first one is he stole, stole his, his adoptive <laughs> brothers. <laughs> That's his, stole his adoptive brother's body. Um, body. Lived at the bottom of the ocean for a hundred years, and he's allergic to flowers. <laughs> the man, the myth, the legend, the Dio. Let's say, I'm gonna say he didn't steal his brother's body. <laughs> Can I, he did. He did. He at the end of the series, he became just a separate head. Oh yeah, spoilers by the way for some things that happen in JoJo's. Um, he stole his brother's body. I might take that audio and put it at the beginning. Yeah, <laughs> cause uh, yeah, he was just a head at the end of Phantom Blood. Mm -hmm. So um, Jonathan, cause Jonathan is actually his adoptive body, so he drowned in the boat with him. Because there was a boat at the end. Yeah. <laughs> and so as a severed head, Dio stole Jonathan's body, making him live. As not a dead person. So he's not allergic to flowers. He's not allergic to flowers. Okay. okay. Um, now part two, Aztec Dubstep Plays. Aztec Dubstep Plays. Is that anything like a neon mixtape tour? <laughs> like, <laughs> I don't even know anymore. It's a Plants vs. Zombies reference. You know, for all the Plants vs. Zombies stands out there. <laughs> all of you out there are totally like JoJo's I, too. I, I know some people who do like JoJo and Plants vs. Zombies. That's impossible. <laughs> Um, our first Joseph, Joseph, who is the best JoJo. Now, I know this game does, or the series does, like a Doctor Who thing, where it's like it's kind of the same protagonist, but like a different incarnation. Yeah, so like Doctor Who or Zelda. Yeah, for each part, I do have it's the main JoJo of each piranhas. part. So Joseph is my favorite. Um, fight me on that, everyone. Um, so is Joseph afraid of the afraid? Of, <laughs> I can't talk. Four plane crashes. <laughs> yeah, is he afraid of piranhas? Did he send a god into space with a volcano, or has been in four plane crashes? I and has survived through all of them. <laughs> he survived them all. And I think about most of them, he did cause himself. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna say he did not send a god into space. That is what he did. He sent a god into space. Okay. He's not afraid of piranhas. <laughs> He's not afraid of piranhas. All right. The next one is um, Caesar. Caesar's Apelli, a second. I, I don't know why. I saw the red scarf in the blue, and I thought this was like Chrono for a second. Like, <laughs> it's Chrono from Chrono Trigger. Ah, yes, famed B ball star Chrono from Chrono Trigger. So Caesar, it, Caesar's Apelli, another Apelli. Fights with bubbles. Yeah. So does he fight with bubbles? Does he <laughs> love sunflowers? Bubbles. Or does he only eat pasta? I know there is a pasta meme in this series. There is a pasta meme. Is this the guy? Uh, this is not the guy. Okay. 
But there is a pasta me. But it, he's he's Italian. He's I, the most Italian Italian. So I, lo- I love how normal these three are by comparison. Some with of the them anime. are gonna be. More, I threw in some weird things. Like you, you can fight with bubbles in Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> like it's the I, balloon spell breaks everything. I threw in some normal stuff. Like he's not gonna expect this. Okay. So what is true about my boy Caesar? Uh, I'm gonna say. He doesn't love sunflowers. That's actually his favorite flower, which is established in his character bio. He does not only eat pasta. Okay, okay. Some of the stuff I took from the characters' bios in the uh, Jojo Leon mangas. My Lazaga. My Lagazia. Like, <laughs> Lisa, Lisa Lisa. Lisa, I've heard of this character. Lisa Lisa is one of the best girls. When I played, um, when I played that game, I remember, I don't remember who, but I remember I played as one of the female characters. Was this her? No, you played as Trish. Who's I a played as five Trish. Character. I don't know why I played as Trish. Oh yeah, I know. I remember why I played as Trish, because like they give you a quote for everyone, and her says, "I just is just yelling. I made it softer, and I needed to know what that meant." Because <laughs> <Yeah. Like, laughs> she can make anything she touches or anything her stand touches soft. Is she in this list somewhere? No, she's not. Oh no, that's like the one character I have. <laughs> any attachment to in the series. Alright, so Lisa Lisa her hobby is taking, taking baths. Um, she tossed her son into an <laughs> oil pit, and she rakes her bones to get stronger. How old is this character? She's she, 50. Okay, old enough to have a son. Um, you never know of anime, that's yeah, why I ask. You like, never know. Breaks bones to get stronger. You know, you, you crack you, you crack your body spaghetti and you get stronger. Is milk her favorite drink? Just get that calcium going. I don't, I don't think they ever established your favorite Thank drink. Thank Mr. Skeletal. Like, <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Bones. Yeah, that's, that's that's a joke I haven't said in a while. <laughs> so what do you think is true about... I, I'm going to go a step further. I'm going to say she doesn't even have a son. Uh, that is incorrect. She did toss her son into an oil pit. Okay. Um, because her son is actually um, Joseph. Ah, okay. And Joseph doesn't know that that's her, his mother because okay. he, he was told all of his parents died. Oops. The, um, the, she does not break her bones to get stronger. But her hobby is taking baths. This is kind of a dark question, but is there an incestual relationship between them? Because this is anime and you you can't put that past it. Like, no, but the only thing that happens is Joseph looks into a keyhole, sees her naked, and goes, Nice! And that's it. <laughs> oh my god. He does not know they're related at that of point. Of course, of course they do that. <laughs> Um, oh was, my god! Of the glory. This is like a male <laughs> Ayla from Chrono Trigger. Like <laughs> my beautiful, beautiful man. Wait, Karn. is this a guy? This is a okay. Guy. This is a guy. <laughs> uh, so, uh, so he does a sick guitar riff on a pair of legs. He talks in rhyme, and he turned his hand into a squirrel. Aaron, I actually know about the squirrel meme. Oh, I, I was think afraid of that. I think you've told me this before. <laughs> yeah. So which one? Does he do a sick guitar riff on legs, or does he talk in rhyme? I'm gonna. I'm, it looks like someone who'd have a weird speech pattern, but I'm not sure if it'd be rhyme. <laughs> looks like he's about to like take his pants off. Like <laughs> he does, he's just wearing just like a speedo and a loincloth. It's like this is also the main villain of part two. Of course. This man follows up Dio. Of course. I'm gonna say he doesn't talk in rhymes. Yeah, uh, yeah, he does not talk in rhymes. Okay, he does cool. do a sick guitar riff on a pair of legs. <laughs> not his own. Someone else's <laughs> legs. Someone else's legs. A uh, part three road trip, road trip, <laughs> road trip, road trip. Is the is it just a road trip anime in part three? The boys are going to Egypt, and part three is also my favorite part. Fight me on that one too. So are the parts like seasons? Sorta, of, kinda. Of. Like parts one and two are actually combined into a season because they're so short. <laughs> okay. But like part three is when everything just starts getting really long, because <laughs> this is when they also introduce stands. <sighs> All right, so our main oh, man... Oh, this character. This is, like, the most popular character. Yeah, Jotaro is probably, like, the <laughs> most, like... So, which one? Uh, he can turn his head backwards. He wrote a thesis on starfish, and he threw a dog across the desert. Uh... And I'm counting their stands with powers they can do, too. Okay, okay. I'm gonna say he can't turn his head backwards. You're actually correct on that okay. one. Jotaro, it's kind of hard, because I already told you he's a marine biologist once. Yeah. And so I was like, oh god, I, I used up that fact really quick. Is this why you took up marine biology at college? <laughs> no. no. I'm not gonna base this off of an anime character. <laughs> Some people would do that. <laughs> I'm only a marine biologist because of Jotaro. Alright, so this is Kekyoin. Uh, so... Laid an- <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so... He never takes off his school uniform. That's a school uniform? Yes, that is a school uniform. <laughs> <laughs> um, he laid an egg, and he won a fight against a baby. What? He won a fight against a baby. Like, a powerful baby? I'm gonna have to say that baby is somewhat powerful, but not physically. Okay. Is it like a Dr. X thing, where it's just like a super brain baby? Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> a very super brain baby. Uh, 
I'm gonna say he never takes off a school uniform. Uh, the incorrect fact is that he never laid an egg, but go on to the next slide. Where did you even get that? Uh, on a do this is a fan comic uh, from <laughs> Clamp, the car creators of Cartoon. It was just there when I woke up. <laughs> This is a fan comic? This, this is not just a fan comic, it's a fan comic done by Clamp, the creators of Cardcaptor Sakura, and like all those big things. And I a remember lot of, that name from the Age video. Yeah, and a lot and a lot of fans um, know this meme, so this is mostly to throw you in there. They wrote a comic where <laughs> Jotaro and Kakyoin, two male characters, get married. They're also both 17, so they get married. <laughs> of course they are. They have a night alone, and the next day Kakyoin lays an egg, and then it hatches into a boy named Joda, who is their son. <laughs> a Joda. A Polnareff. Pol Polnareff. I swore he would atone for my sister's death so she could finally rest in peace. I got a, his best pose. <laughs> what is this? I was gonna comment on that next. Uh, his best pose. Um, the most plausible pose any boy has ever gotten into. <laughs> Alright, so... Has bad luck with toilets. Collects postcards, but only of boring places, and wants to build a theme park. It looks like a theme park there. He looks like he's in a theme park. This is just a dock right here. Cause is this? Is this? That's a. That's a dock. <laughs> that's a dock. Why is the Why is the floor lit up? <laughs> because it's JoJo's. <laughs> Duh. This looks like the. This looks like the floor you play Dance for Our Stardom on. <laughs> like. <laughs> I don't know if you'd be good at the game. Look at that stance. He's ready. Aaron, I I can I can A rank difficulty nine songs on Dance for Dance for Stardom. Everyone clap in the comments. Dude, like, I, I didn't think I'd like Space Cats because it's a meme song, but it's actually pretty fun to dance to. Like, <laughs> Alright, but what do you think I'm is this boy's... I'm gonna say bad... No, I'm gonna say the collect postcards ones. That is correct. He does not collect postcards. I wanted that to be true of the three of them. Yeah, but he has very bad luck with toilets, and he wants to build a theme park called Polnareff Land. Polnareff Land? Is that anything like Eggman Land? Uh, yeah, but it's run by Polnareff. <laughs> It'll probably run just as competently. A uh, Boingo, I is put Is this in, a kid? This is a kid, I did is, put Is in, this the first kid? This isn't the first kid, I think the first season has, I believe his name is Poco. Okay. And the second I don't know how- Wait, hold on, isn't jo Jodaro 17? Yeah, he's oh totally, yeah. Even though he looks like he's 30. He's 17. This is like the first like legit kid who was in a teen. I did throw in some like weirdos in here, so it isn't just the main guys. Alright, so this is on Boingo. He's part of the Oingo Boingo Brothers. <laughs> He's the younger one. So, can he see the th the future through manga? He is an introvert, or he watches Magical Girl anime. I, like, I don't... I don't know. <laughs> it's... Also, where does the hat end? <laughs> In the hair begin. That's a, that's a Jotaro question right okay. there. This is season of hat hair. I'm gonna say he isn't an introvert. He is an introvert. Okay. He, the, the weirdest thing is, at, like, he appears in a few episodes, and, like, the last episode he appears, and he's like, I'm gonna change my ways and become less introverted. And then a dog attacks him, and then he becomes even more introverted. And that's okay. what you can see. Okay. Fine. What's the, what's the fake one? The fake one is that he does not watch Magical Girl anime. Oh, okay. Um, part for, <laughs> for No Dignity in Duang. Duang. You're welcome. Is that a meme? Oh god, it's a meme. Okay. Long story. A uh, Josuke, who's- I've seen this character. Who's our main Jojo. Eat a rough. <laughs> <laughs> He's- What is Gucci in this context? Gucci is the actual fashion brand Gucci. Like, the real life brand? Yes, the real life brand. Did they, like, license him to be like a virtual actor like they did with Lightning and Hatsune Miku? Maybe they did. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Scott, president of Domino's Pizza. Here with Josuke, you know, famed b-ball star Josuke. <laughs> I'm gonna say that. I'm gonna say he really likes Gucci. Um, no. That's real. That's false. He, he is not the character related to Gucci. Okay. But he is scared of turtles. Wait, and he... there is a character related to Gucci. <laughs> Mayhaps we're gonna have to find out. So. So what's the lie? The the lie is the Gucci one. Oh, okay. So I did guess right. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, you did guess that it's right. It's two truths and a lie. Yeah. I, I know it's kind of hard to. <laughs> to tell with a series like this, but whatever. Yeah, but he did eat a rubber glove, and he is scared of turtles. <laughs> The boy just... Is he scared of the Minecraft turtles? Maybe he would Dude, be. <laughs> they, they just, they just, they just like jump on the beach and then just sit there forever and I swear they multiply. I hate turtles. They're like my least favorite mobs in the game. They just get in the way. Oof. What do you get for them? Oh, you get a, you get a, you get a helmet if you breed them that makes it so you can breathe underwater for 10 seconds, but like you can already do that anyway of respiration, so what's the point? Do we have any JoJo Minecraft fans in here? Because I'm confused. I hope these are more useful than turtles, because I hate the turtles. 
All right, Ro- so. I, is this Joker? Uh, the, this is Rohan. <laughs> so he goes in on a six minute rant on slugs. Yep. He cuts the spider open and licks it. And he writes like the best manga ever made, and everyone loves it. It's because he's so skilled at a perfect manga writer, and he's like so talented. <laughs> is this quoting something? <laughs> Maybe. Okay, I'm gonna say the spider one isn't true. That one is true. That one is the true. The first time we see him, he cuts open a spider and licks it. <laughs> because he's insane. Which one's the fake one? He does not go on a six minute rant about slugs, but because Rohan is probably the most popular and feral character out of all um, JoJo's. Uh, go on to the next slide. Okay. I gave you a round two. <laughs> what? Alright, so. <laughs> what, is this? what is this face? <laughs> Wait, is that the same character? Yeah. yeah. So did Rohan jump into <laughs> oncoming traffic? He can read. He can read people like books because he turns them into books. He bought a mountain. <laughs> he had a cursed bag. He cut off his own finger. He let his house burn down. Um, multiple people left him for dead because they hated him. Look at this. Um, look at dude's back. Dude died. Met a ghost. Went to the Louvre. Exploded, but is fine now. And went to Gucci. Wait, so what, I had to figure out which one's the fake. Which one do you think is the fake? Aaron, you were getting really good at making <laughs> slideshows, I had to say. <laughs> What's the most normal one? Uh, for anime, bought a ghost. Oh no, meta ghost. Uh, what if I were to tell you that he did all of these? He did all of these <laughs> he things. He did all of these things. <laughs> and he's the character that actually, um, he, he... He went to Gucci? He went to Gucci to, to fix his cursed bag. <laughs> <laughs> they can, that's a service they provide? Apparently. Okay. He, his mom, there's a, cause he like has so many spinoff manga like based off him, cause Araki like loves this man, and Araki's the writer of JoJo's for the uninformed, and he seems to love this man, and not think, we, he's totally not a self-insert for Araki. Okay. God, it's just so weird with this man, cause his official manga is in the Louvre. <laughs> in the toilet? No, no, oh. the, uh, the, oh, oh. the France, the, um, oh my god. <laughs> the, the France Museum. The, the art museum. His official. Why is the French word for toilet so similar to Louvre? Well, I think <laughs> I think it's like some people pronounce it Louvre. A oh, Louvre, okay. Louvre or Louvre, <laughs> and then Lou is the toilet word. Okay, okay. Amiki what? Taka. He is my favorite. He is one of my favorite boys of all time. He looks and... like Magus with that hair. <laughs> <laughs> and no one loves him as much as I do. So, he thinks cars are alive, he might be an alien, and he turned into a pair of shoes. He, they're metal horses. <laughs> <laughs> metal horses. There's a character from my book who calls cars metal horses. Maybe what? that's Mikitaka. <laughs> His name is Kittery, he's a fox. <laughs> like, uh, I, I'm gonna say he thinks cars are alive, because that's my market. Like, yeah, that is the false that one. That is the false With one. Mikitaka. I haven't gotten the, I haven't gotten it right in a while. Yeah, with Miki Taka, he might be an alien. We're never told if he is or isn't an alien. He looks like an elf with those ears. But weird. The thing is, like later on, like a lot of characters like look as weird as him, and even weirder. But they're still human he as far as we know. He looks a little bit like my Skyrim character with less freaky eyes. <laughs> I, lo- I love Miki Taka though. He's so good. Kira. Kira. Kira! Does Kira mean death in Japanese? Yes, because. <laughs> Has a hand fetish. Uh, yes, he is the main villain of Part 4, so he has a hand fetish. He collects his fingernail clippings and can speak ten languages. Is that as a result of his fetish? Maybe it. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. I'm gonna say he, can, he can't... Wait, I have to find a lie. He can't speak ten languages. Yes, that is the okay. lie. He has a hand fetish, and he's a serial killer who cuts his nails when his, <laughs> lairs, when his nails get too long, and after that he has to kill someone. But he... But he Collects the, when he kills a woman, he collects their hands, okay. and then hangs out with them for a while because he has a hand fetish, but only the for hand severed or hands. The person, the hand. Okay. Part five: The Godfather, but gay. <laughs> it's the Godfather. It's the Godfather. Part two is the Godfather. New Hope is the Godfather. Happily ever after. And this is the most currently animated part, so we're ending after this one. Sorry, part six fans, we're not getting any Jolene content at the moment. Okay. Uh, so Giorno is our Giorno. main Jojo. I've seen this cinnamon roll hair before, this cream horn hair. Yeah. Like This is actually... Um, cries he, of blood. So he's actually a weird character. He's actually the son of Dio and Jonathan, because Dio used Jonathan's body to make this guy, because, you know, Dio stole Jonathan's body. They're, aren't they both male characters? No, they. He his head is on Jonathan's body, and then they found a woman. What? What? <laughs> and then they, he, 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 he took his body. 
<laughs> Alright, so Cries his blood turns a brick and <laughs> tuck it. his ear into his head? Like it goes inside out? Yeah, you can just tuck it into his head. Wait, is this the licking guy? This is not the licking. Okay. He, he receives the licking. He receives the licking. The guy okay. who does the licking is Bruno, who's not Bruno. on here. Sorry, Bruno fans. Uh, I'm gonna say he... he he can't cry blood. That is correct. He okay. can't cry blood. But he did turn a brick into a snake, and he can tuck his ear into his head. He does it brick. once. <laughs> I want to see the brick. He, he Aaron, this... Oh, my God. This game... Or this series must have a serious Chekhov's gun problem. Because, like, oh, he can tuck his ear into his head, but, like, what... Like, the, the Chekhov's gun says that if you show something, it has to be plot relevant at some point. Does this series have a problem with that? Like, yes, the biggest mean, one of the biggest means of series of those fans is Araki forgot, which means Araki doesn't remember, like, anything. He forgets characters exist, he forgets what eyes their power sets, yeah. he'll forget things they can do, he forgets, like, major items, <laughs> but we still love JoJo's anyway, despite that. Okay. Uh, Naraka! Uh, this looks like a, a One Piece character. Um, he is... Is Naraka... Naranxia. Naranka. Naranka being punched or the one doing the punching? Well, he's the one getting stabbed with a fork currently. The guy in the front is Oh, Fugo. that's a fork. Oh. Yeah, Fugo is actually my favorite part five boy. Fight me, everyone who doesn't like Fugo. Um, but we're doing the guy with the orange headband. Went to jail because he dyed his hair. Has been digging a tunnel because he wants to sink Italy. <laughs> Did you know Mexico is sinking? <laughs> Mostly eats fruits and vegetables. That's too normal. I'm going to say that's the lie. That is the truth. Oh, what? <laughs> What's the lie? Don't... Yeah, he has been digging a tunnel and he wants to sink Italy. That... He did go to jail because he dyed his hair, but that's because he, like, stopped going to school because of reasons and he joined a gang. So he, and, like, he went, went to jail for joining a gang, not for dying his hair. No, the thing was, his, um, his, like, higher-ups who had blonde hair was like, hey, you should dye your hair. And so he did, and so he was framed by the guy who had blonde hair because now Naranka's blonde, and then he went to jail because of that. <laughs> wow. Oh my god. Why are there two of him? Oh, that's just like a character model screen I found. The front one is his far end and the back one is his back. This like broccoli head, like He is here, he is ready. He killed is killed by zipper. I know there's a character with zipper powers. I know there's a character with zipper powers. Alright, so he has nine Fights with a fishing pole. Honestly, that's something I'd put in one of my games. And he so has like... nine cats and all of them are named Delphus. <laughs> I'm gonna say it's the cat one that's fake. Yeah, the cat one is fake. <laughs> but he does fight with a fishing pole, and it's named Beach Boy. I, the weapon <laughs> is called... Oh my god. <laughs> that's his stand. His stand is the fishing pole. It's the fishing For pole. For stands, you get beautiful punching Ned and a fishing pole. Sure. Uh, our last man here, because he deserves to be last, is... Chocolata? Chocolata. Chocolata. Is this character in the fighting game? No, he's actually not. Pet... Or Pessy's in the fighting game, but you can't play as him. He, like, appears on one of the stages, but he is not in the fighting game. Um, Chocolata is his own... His own Cuts. breed of weird. Wait, okay. So, has a human pet who eats sugar cubes. Wrote 50 issues... A 50-issue book series on, on mushrooms. mushrooms. Or he cut himself into pieces, because he is a doctor. This man is a doctor. Okay. This man is a doctor. <laughs> but he was also a crooked doctor. I'm gonna say the mushroom one is yeah, the lie. The mushroom one is false. Okay, I'm getting but, good at these. Like, but, well, that's who had this was the last one. But oh, he has dang a, it. That's what I was getting good at them. Yeah, but he has a human pet named Seko, and he feeds him sugar cubes. <laughs> Why, though? <laughs> because he's Chocolata. Okay. Yeah, so that's the last one. <laughs> you. Da -na -na. I, I do know of that meme. Yeah, okay, so that, that was our... That was fun. That was your two truths and a lie. Uh, I feel like I've learned. Audition. I've learned so much now. <laughs> the series curses, and I, I hate. It gets weirder as the series goes on. It gets so much weirder. <laughs> but we we can't dive into that weirdest we left. I'm sorry, guys, but because like part six isn't done yet, or part six hasn't been animated yet because oh, we just okay. finished part five. Okay. Hopefully that'll come out soon. Everyone's saying skip part six so we can get to part seven. Get off this video right now. <laughs> Right now, because it's over. It's pretty much over. Hey, don't now. demean the target audience, all right? So many people have learned this the hard way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it gets so much stranger later on. This this series looks fun. It it might be a bit too long for my liking, but you get through it a lot quicker. Because when I was rewatching it, like I rewatched the entire thing in like two weeks, which like isn't that bad in terms of like how fast anime fans can actually get through an anime. But I had stuff to do. <laughs> all right. Well, that, that was fun. Thanks, Aaron, for putting this all together. That was enjoyable. And, <laughs> and <laughs> I don't know when this will be up, but I'll probably work on this after my Y2K video. Yep, and so. guys, remember, this, this, series is a jo this video is a JoJo's reference. 
Oh, dang, it is. Oh, it is a JoJo As it reference. is a video about JoJo. All right, then. <laughs> See you folks later. Arrivederci.